can you make a scenario that when can we use client side and server side ui action i mean the difference so basically someone raised the request that um, they are trying to know that when we can create a client side ui action when we can create the server side ui action and when we can use the client side and server side action both together so in our today's video we'll talk about that how can we create the client side ui action how can we create the server side ui action and then how we can create a combination of the ui action so in the last video if you remember that i have created one ui action on the incident form so if i uh, open this uh, ui action called cancel incident this ui action i have created in last week and then uh, if i scroll down this ui action is available on the form on the incident table and the current state equal to equal to one it means that if the incident is new state that ui action will be visible and somebody click that the incident will be resolved this ui action is a uh, good example of the server side ui action if you see here the client checkbox is unchecked it means that this ui action is server side ui action so if i open for example if i open any incident at that moment and let's say that uh, the state should be new state so if i open this if i show my with the new and let's say that i am opening this one this incident then you can see that this cancel uh, incident button which is ui action that i have created is visible and if we click that definitely that all this mandatory field has to be filled if we click that what will be happen is simply this ui action or using this ui action this incident will be completely resolved so let's try that so now if we click the cancel incident this incident will be resolved so if we click that and go back to that incident you can see the incident is basically cancelled that so this incident got cancelled and here it's uh, automatically cancelled basically uh, whatever we have mentioned in our ui action everything is happening now how can we make that client side ui action to make that this is the server side ui action that we have learned uh, in our earlier class now how we can uh, create the client side ui action to create the client side ui action you have to have uh, you know click this client checkbox and once you click the client checkbox there will be one um, a box will be available called on click so you can see this box name is on click so if we uncheck that you can see uh, this on click button the on click uh, field is not available so once you click that client and there will be one field called on click and here you need to uh, provide the function name so on which function you want to perform certain action let's say i am doing that uh, do process so this is my function name and what it will do it will going to call under here i have to declare a function called function and then do process and here i can do any client side operation what does it mean by client side operation client side operation means we can show any pop up we can show any alert message we can set some value something this kind of things we can do okay so let's do that i'll uh, you know i'll do a confirmation message so let's say that if and then i'll do the confirm okay and under that i'm going to ask some question let's say that um, what i am asking that So this kind of message I am looking for, okay? If yes, then this block will be uh, a pop up call. User click yes. Else, I will show an alert call. User click no. Okay. So this is the message I am doing. So you can see that I have cleared a function and then this function I'm calling under this on click and what this function is doing, it is giving you that some pop-up message called, do you really want to cancel this incident? Yes or no. If you click no, it will show an alert call user click no. If you click, if you click yes, this alert message will be visible. I'll just simply save that. Now I'll open any another incident. So let's say I'm opening this incident and then if we click the cancel UI action, 
so earlier what was happening this code only this code was executed right now this code won't be executed instead of that this code will be executed whichever under this function so let's try that if we click cancel and you can see there is a pop-up which is coming or do you want to cancel this incident if you click cancel it is saying the user click no and nothing is happening if you click here again if you click ok and it is saying the user click yes and actually nothing is happening because the server side code is not running anymore then how or when the server side code will be executed that we have to define that so to call the server side key so let's say that if somebody click yes so do you want to cancel that if somebody click ok and then this code this block of code has to be run right how do we do that to do that what we have to do under this you can see we have a call action name we have to declare this action name called cancel incident this action name we have to declare so we can declare um, this uh, action name and then using the action name we can call any ui action so once you define the action name you can call this ui action from any of this script you can call this ui action from the server side script like um, background script maybe fixed script maybe any of this script wherever you need it you can pass this or wherever you need it you can call this ui action okay so once you call this ui action this block will be executed not this block so if you are calling from background let's say that you are calling from the uh, another ui action maybe you are calling from a fixed script or maybe you are calling from a background script or maybe you are calling from business rule at that moment this function will not be executed this function will be executed now what we have to do in this case in our case we, i'll remove the else part so whenever somebody click that yes instead of alert i need to call this this ui action again from the back um, back end side or background side and once i call this from the back end side instead of this function at the moment this function will be executed so how can we call this ui action from this ui action or maybe another script to call this UI action, we have to use that GSFT submit method. Using the GSFT submit method, we can call this UI action from any other script. So first we have to pass the parameter equal to null. Then we have to pass that object of this uh, current element. Let's say I'm putting that G underscore form dot get form element and this is a function and then after that we need to be passed the uh, ui action name our case this is the ui action name so we just this pass this ui action name and i'll just adjust the code so what will be happen at that moment so when somebody click yes it will be called this gsftp sub G, gsft submit method and then it will call the same ui action for the back end side and once it will call the back end side this code will be executed if somebody click cancel it will be go here and then till not going to call this ui action from the back end side and it won't be executed i'll simply save this method here it should be element and let's refresh this one more time and if we click again cancel nothing is going to happen and if we click ok and here is the some mandatory field which I have to be select. Definitely, I'll select that and cancel. Okay, and this server side operation is started, and it will be set to a resolve, or maybe it will set to the cancel. Whatever is written in that uh, script here, the value is eight. The value will be set to eight. And notice that when we click cancel, it is redirecting to the past page. How can we stick to the same page? To stick to the same page here, we need to put one more uh, to do that. What we have to do, we have to just simply say that action dot set redirect URL and in bracket, we just need to be put the current. So once we put that and set that and open other incident, I'll select this configuration item at that moment. Cancel, click OK. And you can see I am now, right now, not redirecting to the other page. I am sticking to the same page, and that incident is automatically cancelled. 
So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.